I come from humble beginnings and where I hail from, if I could have um, become a member of parliament, not because I know anyone, um, not because of favoritism of any sort, but because of absolute hard work, of absolutely believing in yourself and um, believing that you want to you want to influence and impact your community. Those kids growing up should know that if she could have done it, it's absolutely possible for me. What it, it means for me to be a liberal uh, politician, um, in my view and during my time, it's about my personal beliefs um, and it's about being an absolute champion for the truth. Um, you know, politics and truth sometimes doesn't go hand in hand. Um, it's being um, a champion for equality on all fronts. What I would like to see change in African politics um, or in political parties, where people would be able to realize um, that the government and political representative should be working for them. I'm of the ultimate belief that once you are elected as a leader, you're not just a leader for a certain part of your party, of your constituency that voted for you. You are the leader for everyone. So irrespective if South Africa is currently governed by the official opposition, the president of this country is my president as well. So I would want him to show leadership in that respect. I would like to see um, a society and a country um, with a role of woman um, in leadership is non-negotiable. Give her the opportunity and see what she does with that opportunity instead of making that decision prematurely and saying that she, she, she might fail in, in that position. What would I say to a young girl who wants to go um, in politics in Africa? There's no time like the present. We cannot count on others um, to understand our challenges. As a young woman, you know what you're dealing with within your respective community. Politics is not for old people. It's not for aged people. Politics is for those in the current situation. And if they can just realize, if our young women, if our young people, if our women that are currently doing that groundbreaking work within our respective communities, if they can just realize that they hold the answer to what is wrong, they hold the answer to the necessary change, we will have a whole different society.